mother or daughter. everyone to the meticulous mommy channel so I know I've been away for um a month I am so sorry about that I have been super busy just um, trying to get things straightened out with the kids and all kinds of crazy other stuff has been happening it's been a crazy um, couple of months for 2017 so I'm back now and I'm going to try to keep up with everything um, as you know per the usual so um, the first thing that I'm just gonna go over is just I have begun to really like my desk calendar a lot this is how crazy March is going to be as you can see the first three days are over I'm doing this early Saturday morning so you guys can see um, you know kind of how the first couple of days went in March so right now I'm just going to Pull out my mega planner and show you guys how February went and just kind of give you guys a little insight as to how my March is looking so enjoy and before you ask yes I am sick my family has well my my kids have been just flu virus after flu virus and it just keeps recycling it's been so hectic but um so this is the lovely mega planner again everyone I'm gonna start from the beginning just to kinda show you guys how I'm also doing in my collections and things I have not been keeping up with my index but I do plan on filling that out soon um, that's last year's um, information previous year's highlights and then my my resolutions <laughs> they're okay and then um, as you can see all of January is finished all of February is finished so you know just been kind of working on that and then there's March and as you know planner con is coming up in San Diego so or is it San Francisco? I can't remember. But, um, you know, just been keeping up with uh, my planning. I have not used this as much as I thought I was going to be using it for the projects and stuff. Um, the only one that I used is this one. Because right now um, I'm starting spring cleaning and you'll see that in a little bit. But, um... Actually, I'm going to keep this out for now so that I can, you know, go ahead and mark on that. Um, GTD tracking, I have not kept up with this, so this hasn't really been marked at all. But we're getting there. I have not kept up with my highlights log, although I can now because, believe it or not, I did really good in February. So I am going to write those in. Um... Did I write resol oh, that was my master to-do list. And this is my list of resolutions. So I'm working on those as well. And moving on. I have not liked the way this came out. Even though I love the idea of it, it's not really working the way I had hoped it would. Some of it is kind of redundant. So I have actually... Um, I've been focused on, let's see, this is how I focused on all of this stuff, and I went through and I tried to make it so that everything is accounted for as far as to-dos and routines, and as much as this is helpful, it's not because it's... It needs to also transfer to my planner, and I was trying to do that with these sticky notes, but I realized 
I didn't want to have to go back and reference this page every single time I wanted to get a specific routine or a specific task done. So I will show you how I've improved on this list uh, as far as, you know, all this kind of stuff goes. I am now using this page to hold all of my random labels, like for everything that's happening in our lives. Like, you know, holidays, tracking the weather, um, you know, just stuff like that. And speaking of which, I actually have a container where I keep the ones that, you know, sometimes get lost in the shuffle. So, like, for instance, I would just keep that one there because, you know, it's just to keep track of everything and I can use a sticker instead of having to write it down. So these are uh, my lists, which starts off with my Netflix tracker and I am loving it because I'm loving my shows. <laughs> I am keeping track of them. I'm loving Black Mirror. I think I showed you guys this already though. So, um, like I said, I kept track of a lot of stuff in February so I can just transfer it over. So I'm going to do that soon. And then these I have not used. Um, I'm working on my clothing because I don't have that many clothes, guys. I've been focused on getting the kids' clothes and stuff instead. So um, then there's this page. I love this page. It's been very awesome to reference when it comes time to pack a specific bag, diaper bag, going to service, um, backpacks, gym bags, just it's good to reference so I know I'm not forgetting anything and then I can write it down if I have something that I need to add. I have not worked on this at all other than the fact that I am trying to straighten my living room out and figure out how and where I want everything. Um, I want a little kids um, kids section like with a mini table and you know some beanbag chairs and stuff like that so that's the kind of stuff that I'm working on with that I all of my lists are not done I haven't even had time to focus on that kind of stuff I haven't had time to focus on reading which is really sad for me because I'm missing my reading time and just a bunch of empty pages at the moment um, this is, you know, kind of a financial section. Still haven't filled it out yet, though, because I haven't really needed to because I have a financial planner. Okay, and there's my lovely lady showing my lists, or my personal spreads. So first I have, you know, my wants and needs. I really don't want for much these days other than, you know, my planner supplies. I just, I find my bliss there. And, um, I have written down that, you know, oh, this is when it started, um, fever and nausea, um, my kids were throwing up, my son Miles was anyway, and, you know, just my son Ryan, he had fever, it was just not, it was just not a good month. Um, I haven't kept track of this in here because I have a fitness planner, so I can transfer that over too. Um, I kept up a little bit with my sleep tracker. Um, as you can see, I was sleeping well at the beginning of the month, just mainly probably because of my mood. Um, the purple and the pinks are good here. Um, we have a few bad days, but not too bad. Some days are really intolerable, though, so I'm going to transfer all that stuff over from my February pages. And this is the flow tracker. As you can see, I've kept up with that. It's now March, so um, I will be writing that one when it happens have not used my social media list because I have a planner for that. <laughs> There's my bucket list, haven't done anything on that. Friends list, I do have more friends that I've added to this booklet particularly, so I will be putting that information in soon. Okay, and then I haven't filled the rest of that out either. Now this was supposed to be where I kept track of the weather for the year and I did not do that. And this is a secret page that I'm still working on. Now this, I love this page because it's so pretty and it's just Benjamin Franklin's method of progress progressing or improving yourself as far as his book goes with the, um, the art of virtue and I just up track of all of the 13 different um, areas in which to follow. 
how well you are um, improving in your progress as far as virtue. And then this is my son Miles' stuff. Nothing's changed there. My son Ryan's stuff. Nothing's changed there. And then my daughter Alana. I added a cute picture of her, but it's a little blurry. So um, I'm going to work on that. But yes, that's her page. Next, we have just my yearly overview. And I don't know why I stuck these here. It's just I wanted to use some. These came from Daiso, and they're like, see-through translucent. So I, you know, was kind of experimenting to see if I could place some on here. But um, that hasn't changed. And so we are here at the winter quarter. It is almost over. And I have not updated this list as far as, you know, what I have and have not done. So I will be able to try to fill that out um, and, you know, give you guys an update on how the whole quarter went. So this was January. I showed you guys that in the last video. I will put a link for you guys to go ahead and see up there. Um, then I gave myself an F minus because... I didn't like the way I was planning. I didn't like... I liked the fact that I kept up sometimes. But at the same time, I feel like there were so many blanks. It's like, see, I would do great at the beginning of the week, and then at the end of the week, I would just fall off completely. And that bugged me. So, um, yeah. And then I didn't keep up with like my goals as far as this went. So, it, it really just bothered me. So, um, this is February, the super pink month. I love February. So, as you can see, I have my month at a view. I did the ant flow tracker on my monthly as well. But I just put in all of this random stuff that, you know, was going on. I didn't use the bot list. I didn't use any of this as far as the um, financial tracker because I have a financial planner so um, I did kind of use my um, my needs list basically is what this is sort of I did not use these grocery list pages which I'm probably gonna yank them out soon I did use my gratitude tracker or my gratitude log um, I, I enjoyed it a lot I didn't get to do the last like week of the month but I think I did way better than last month because I didn't I didn't do any of it for last month I I felt really bad too because I was like oh I did all that for nothing well see I did a little bit I went up to the seventh a whole week wow you know it's not really good so anyway um, as you can see yes I did my GTD stuff I'll Quite a bit of it and then I did keep up with my monthly vertical monthly and my mood tracker so and as you can see the last few days of the month were just sick days everybody was sick I was sick and the last one of the last days on the 27th my daughter said I love you for the first time to me and I just lost it. I was so ecstatic. I couldn't believe it. I had to write it down. I was like, oh my gosh, she said it. So then uh, we have February. And I did really good this month, guys. I really did. I kept up with my virtue tracker, kind of. I wasn't really focused on my GTD this week because there was a lot going on, having to focus on bills and stuff. I did my calls. I just, I kept up with it, you know, and that's what made me so happy. So, um, yes. Um, okay, yeah, so I kept up with it, I used it, um, there were times that I had to, you know, pass things along to the next month because things were kind of, ooh, getting really, really cramped and a lot of stuff kept having to be done. Um, I thought this was so pretty, but I didn't use it, and I was sad, and, um, yeah, see guys, I mean, I did pretty good, except this week, not a good week. So, yeah, and this was, um, 
Isn't it so pretty? I just love the pink. Pink everywhere. And then I used glitter. Worked these weeks. I was so happy. I journaled. I did all kinds of stuff. Work it, right? Okay. But I did not use it like the last week. What is wrong with me? I can't keep up with like that last week. I just fall off completely. Ugh. And it hurts too because I really like this whole um this whole month it was just awesome so that was my reflection and then I did kind of a yearly summary where I went over kind of all of the things that were going on and as you can see I used my monthly tracker for more than a week so I think I will be successful in that next month and this is my summary I gave myself a C plus and a D minus I gave myself a C plus for this month because I picked I, I felt like I was doing awesome as far as documentation, um, but I gave myself a D plus because I feel like I was focused in one area. I really wasn't integrating my time with more than one thing. I was focused mainly on family and getting everything straightened for them, my kids particularly. So, um, yeah, so that was all of February. I love February. Anyway, so now we are on March. And I, this is the week already, so I'm going to go flip back through. Um, March is my green month because it's the, you know, it's spring and it's a season of renewal. The next quarter is going to start. And so I feel green is kind of like a fresh, you know, it feels fresh to me. It just It's like a start over moment. Sorry about the shaky camera. So I still have the same thing where I have, you know, expenses and stuff. And then I have a budget plan, other finances that I want to want. And this I revamped um, for the needs list. I've got my quarterly needs and I've got my monthly needs here. And that is based on what I have for um, this is a new book that I started. It's just a regular old composition book, but it is uh, my procedural planning book. Basically, I want to flip through this every single day because it helps me to figure out the things that I need to do. For instance, I have been working on my cleaning schedule. This is it. And it's in yellow because from home, it, everything is yellow for me. So, um... I've been transferring um, the list that I have in my traveler's notebook, my um, Miss Marcy, and I've just taken the book out and I am transferring all of this into here because I have actually taken um, some of the sticky flags that I have and I am really just kind of focusing on what it is each sticky flag does. So all the dark green it follows my color coordination my color coordinated schedule or my color key excuse I don't know what I'm saying anymore but um, I have these flags here that I got from Office Depot and all of them are specific to tasks that's why I like these I wanted them all to be uniform so everything yellow that says cleaning is for cleaning and everything that is dark green all dark green is to buy stuff so this is like all the cleaning supplies that would be needed daily, weekly, bi-weekly, and so on all the way up until annually, which I get diatomaceous earth because all creepy crawlies need to be dealt with. And, you know, just I think it's a good way to kind of cleanse your home of any random thing that could crawl in from visitors throughout the year. And then there's this one, which is my beauty routines. And... Basically, I have written everything out the way I want it to be, and I can just use these the way I need to. Kind of a uh, overview of what I've been doing as far as, you know, keeping track of all of our routines. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up, guys. Um, this is my um, gratitude log. I haven't started it yet. This is my GTD Syst, um page, my... Um, vertical tracker and mood tracker and this is the first week of March 
So I'm excited and can't wait to use it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video so much because I am using the crap out of this mega planner now and I am so happy. Oh, I got these from um, Target, these magnetic clips. I love them. They're so awesome. And there's this one too that just keeps track of my day. And this is you know this was my week I haven't gotten a chance to fill it out yet but I will be posting it soon probably not on the first but um, you know that is pretty much the entire gist of it and I will try to keep up with these videos guys because I know that you guys are kinda like what in the world is she doing it's like show us what are you doing <laughs> so um Please like, comment, and subscribe. I hope that you guys really enjoyed watching these videos. I will give you guys updates on everything that is going to be happening. Um, I'm going to be adding some new things to my shop this week. So please stay tuned for all of that. Um, all of the information is in the description. I am done here, guys. So I love you, Bunchies. And please remember, stay the ticket.